I am super excited for this series. Today, this is one of the toughest courses in general on the PGA Tour, and I wanna see how close I can come to making the cut if I start in the middle of the pack of a PGA Tour event. Standing behind me right here is one of the hardest stretches on the PGA Tour, the Snake Pit. Today we are out here at Innisbrook Resort and we are gonna be doing an 18 hole stroke play video, but let me explain the format. So if you guys have watched the Valspar Championship, it is a tour event held out here. I'm gonna be starting, after round one of the tournament, I'm gonna be starting halfway through the pack at two over par. The cut today is gonna be one over and I'm gonna try and fight back and make this cut. This is a new series that we are starting and I'm so excited to bring this to you because I'm gonna be traveling all around the United States and even some sometimes out of the country to try and play PGA Tour courses and see if I can make the cut. How are you feeling? How are the vibes? Feel good today. Um, I just had a four hour drive though that kinda, I don't know, I'm just tight. I'm a little tired right now, oh, I'm being honest. I got something for you. I got some little pick oh. vibes up. Oh, we got two of these, okay. We got the Arctic vibe and fantasy vibe. I'm gonna go with this, with this frozen berry Arctic vibe here. Guys, huge shout out to Celsius for sponsoring this video. When I get to the course, long drive, or it's early in the morning, I need a little pickup. I've been drinking the Celsius before the round to get dialed. This one right here is my favorite. It's the berry. I've always been a huge fan of like blue raspberry growing up, the blue popsicles, anything blue, I was a huge fan of. So this slushies one- Slushies too. Blue slushies, yes. Anything like that, that's right down my alley, but Arctic vibe is my favorite one. I, these are perfect, I gotta work on my path to Today. Keep that right there. I want to make sure I'm swinging out to the right. I'm not going to hit the outside of that. It's a berry flavor. Nice little berry flavor. It tastes like I'm drinking like a glacier, I would say. You know, when you go to Antarctica, you, you drink the glacier. It's the same. Big day ahead of us. Big day. Come on, baby. Let's get loose. Got to shoot at least one under today from the tips. Is there anything hard today? Yeah, the big thing that I would tell you on this one is pretty, pretty what you see is what you get for the most part on this course. Okay. Um, a couple of holes that are an exception to that is number five. So number Second five, shot. stay to the right, okay. Yeah. The other one is number 13. So what I would tell you is just play straight up. Um, the distance is kind of what it is. It's two, two to the distance. Okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. First hole. So Steve said holes five and 13 are the ones to look out for today. First hole here is a par four, right? Par four, right? Par five. Oh, it's par five. Okay. Sure. We're starting out here with a par five first hole. Got to play good today. One under or better. Par five, it's all good. Bunker, we're gonna be laying up probably, but if I can keep it in play all day, that's the goal. Well guys, welcome to episode one here of The Cut. Innisbrook here is the course we're starting out at. It's a really tough one, that's all I gotta say. I played a college event here years ago. Today we got our work cut out. We're playing the same tees they play, which is all the way back. 7,200 yards today. We got multiple 200 yard par threes as well, so we gotta shoot one under. In the bunker here, par five, I'm pulling out a hybrid. It's maybe not the smartest play, pretty big layup zone. I'm gonna try and pick this right off the sand, give myself a good look for birdie. Just there. 
Perfect. That is all I needed right there. I need to settle into this round. Playing the tips out here. I'm just gonna have to play super smart all day. Up and down here for birdie. Here we go. We got the director of golf, Andrew, here from Innisbrook. Andrew, thanks for having me out, but I want to talk about this tournament. Yeah, thanks, Grant. It's uh, great to have you out here today. Uh, you know, we're always excited to kick off, you know, the season with the Valspar Championship in March. It's definitely one of the uh, highlights of our year. One of the players' favorite golf courses on tour. It's got some of the tough toughest finishing holes on tour with 16, 17, 18 in the snake pit. Yeah, and I remember playing here. This is one of the toughest courses I've ever played. Um, it's up there. It's definitely up there. PGA National, Bear Trap is really tough, but this is up there for sure. 53 yards here on the first hole, par five. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, I've hit this wedge like three times in my life, this new MG4, she danced. All right, well, <laughs> we're in here close. First look for birdie of the day. Landed right here. A chance to get off to a nice start. Let's drill this putt. Down the hill, it looks almost dead straight. <laughs> Come on, baby. That's a birdie to start out this round. I cannot believe it. We're now one over. We started the day at two over. We are now one over inside the cut line already after the first hole. Now, 17 more holes to go. One thing I want to talk about on the second hole, Wesley, one of the best golfers I've played with, this year he shot 77-77 to start out. Par four here, second hole, 413 yards, dog leg left. Oh no. It didn't hit anything completely quiet. Find it and hit it again. That's the one gotta get rid of there, that quick left miss. Can't hit too many of those today. Um, oh, I see my ball right up here. Looks like we might have a gap. We're gonna have to punch it through. Tough hole, you don't wanna go left, but I mean, this, is, this is golf for you. Now we gotta figure out exactly how to eliminate a big number, at worst, make bogey here. Talk about a perfect gap here. We are going right up high through this tree, 52 degree. came down over to the left. Let's get it on the green now. 83 yards here. Another good opening. Not a great one, but we can go right up through this gap. I'm just gonna hit a full 60 degree. Get it back there. Hey, I have a chance for par. Up and down. I think it's just on the back of the green there. I will take that all day. Just gotta eliminate the big number. Sitting down in the rough here. This is our fourth shot up and down for bogey. We gotta do this. We can't start out, guys, on the second hole here with a double. Take it. Kind of chunked it, but it worked out perfect. Guys, we're grinding out here. It is 98 degrees out. You don't want to grind that hard over a bogey, but that drops me back to two over now, one outside the cut line. Happens, you're gonna, I'm gonna make some bogeys out here today. That's the bottom line. I, took, I stole one on the first hole, gave one back. Got another par five coming up really soon, but guys, hopefully y'all are gonna enjoy this series. I'm so excited for some more courses coming up. I know we're gonna try and do TPC Scott's Day. We got Beth Page coming up. Drop them in the comments, which one you want to see. Try to make the cut out. Third hole of the day here is a par four. Water all down the right side. Now this drive is super tight. I gotta kinda thread the needle out there and then I gotta go right towards this green. I think if I hit a good drive, I should have like 150, 160 in. Sit down. Okay, we're good. Spin is control, and that thing spun like crazy. I knew it was gonna land soft. We're gonna be just fine. That went about 220. I took a good five days off from golf after I just got food poisoning. It was like the worst day of my life ever. I threw up like 80 times, got, had to go to the ER. Um, it was crazy. It was literally nuts. I haven't even spoke about it yet, but this is the first time I've played golf in a while, so we're getting it back. We're gonna try and find it. We're outperforming my expectations. We're off to a nice little start. That drive. 
like I said, guys, it's a great miss because now we're in play, but we're gonna have 180 yards here to this pin. We're gonna go with a six iron. Smooth one. Oh, it's right at Sky. Sky! That looked like it went right on his head. Oh my gosh. Sky, I'm sorry, brother. When you're editing this, I am sorry that I hit it at your head. I didn't try to. That was bad, that was right at him. Didn't know if he saw it or not. We're in the sand here. We have absolutely no green to work with. We're gonna land it on this fringe. Hopefully, it trickles out down to the pin. I have to try and really nip this one. Went for it. This is huge. If we can make this for a par, we can chip this in. It'll keep me right around the cut line. Like I said, one over is the cut, so. Right now, I'm one off of it. Don't want to drop any further. Come on! <laughs> Let's go, baby! That was huge, that's for you, Sky. Come on now. God, that felt good. All right, we're even par. One off the cut, we stay at two over. Gosh, that feels so good, because I, I need to find my golf swing right now. I'm like competing in a PGA Tour event, but I, I don't have a great golf swing. Guys, those are the moments right there, that chip in for par. Whew, that is huge. Little momentum booster, because um, I mean, that hole was difficult. We're past it, now we're on a pretty tough par three. Nothing is easy out here. You guys will see as this round progresses, there's not many easy holes. So keep our head down, keep grinding, don't give up. And I gotta start hitting some better shots, some better iron shots, some better tee shots. Par three here. This is our fourth hole, 186 yards. Good thing about this cut series is, I gotta say, when you're on the PJ Tour, you don't necessarily know exactly what the cut is. You just gotta keep pushing hard. I know what the cut is. So I started one off of it. I know exactly where I need to be. There's no, it's, it's, it's pretty black and white for me. So that's one really good thing today, just mentally. I know what I gotta do. I gotta shoot one under or better. Oh, be good. Sit there. That is as good, no joke, as I could hit a five iron, because if I miss hit that at all, that was in that bunker short. So we got a hold of that one. On the green, got to look for birdie. I want to share this with you guys, because this is just something that I've explored or figured out when I've, when I've not been playing my best golf in tournaments or just in general. Like today, my swing feels a little off. If I'm being honest with you guys, my swing feels a little off right now. I'm gonna try and play my best golf. Right there, something just clicked with that five iron. I moved it back in my stance and all I did was try and punch it and flight it under the wind and it felt so good. So I'm gonna stick with that for a couple more shots. I'm gonna try and hold them off, you know, Tommy Fleetwood it. And that goes for a lot of you guys out there. If you're struggling during a round, try and find anything that you can, you can have a little confidence in and go to and stick with it. All right, we got a great look here. I'd say 10, 11 feet here for birdie on this par three. I can't ask for much more. Be a little more aggressive than that. That was a little bit on the timid side. For some reason, I thought that was gonna be super fast. It's all good. It's a par on a really tricky par three. Now we're on to a par five, super gettable. After that, I know I can be a little bit more aggressive with the putt. That was a little bit embarrassing there, but golf is always on the verge of embarrassing you. Fifth hole here, par five. I don't know what I'm looking at, but I'm hitting up a hill right now. It's a blind second shot. All I know is the starter. If you guys remember, he said hole five, you gotta keep it right. So shout out to the starter, Steve. Just short of that bunker, gonna be a three shot hole all day for me. I mean, from these tees back here, this is a really long course for me. I mean, you take someone like Bryson or Micah or any really long hitter, this course is a little different. <laughs> 
I know one thing for sure on this par five here, you guys cannot tell how uphill it is on video. This next shot, this layup shot, there's no shot I can see anything up there. I'm just gonna pick out a tree up in the distance and hit it and hope. All right, we're over on the right side here. Whoever put that tree there was smart. Now I gotta go underneath it. Now, they always say go high, look high, then low. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm gonna go high. Skylar's helping me out. I gotta hit it right over there. left try to get it up it's gonna be fine it's gonna have to go over another tree i think well we have 176 yards to carry the bunker pin is like 185 full six iron i laid back pretty far maybe a little bit of a mistake oh that's it They went right over top of the pin. That was that punch swing, guys. I'm going with the Tommy Fleetwood punch shot today. I'm sticking with it. That was actually nuts. Right over top of the pin there. Pretty straightforward chip, but I was expecting that to be a couple, I was expecting that to be like five feet away. Let's see what we got here. Gonna have to get up and down for par. What a beast of a par five. Definitely have a storm coming really soon. Back up the hill into the grain. I can be aggressive with this chip. I went for it. Oh my gosh, it's getting cold. It's crazy here in Florida. When the storms are incoming like this, you can feel the temperature drop right before they hit. Getting that, that little cold feel in the air. I feel good about my short game right now. Kind of making some good saves to stay in this. We don't want to fade away off the cut. We're five holes into this, even par on the day. It's been a grind to stay at even par, but we are still one shot from the cut line at one over. A lot of golf to play, par four here coming up. Oh man, I wish it could always stay like this in Florida. Right when you're on the edge of a storm. Nice this little is, 15 degree decrease. Yeah, this is a big temperature drop here. Okay, six hole. Dog leg right. I remember this when I played in college. This was a tough one. You gotta thread it. Thank you. Should be just about perfect. I kind of towed it, but what'd you say? It's raining. Yeah, here it comes. It's just starting to come down a little bit. On six here, the, the rain has started. This is good. This is adversity, just like a PGA Tour event, right? You know, it's gonna be a little tricky here. Keep our head in it. it starts pouring rain. They don't stop play for nothing, unless it's lightning everywhere. Oh gosh. Okay, All right, hit it. I got a hit quick. We got 184 yards to the pin, hitting a six iron punch. Oh gosh. Oh, I can't, nope. Psych. See how long this rain takes to pass, but take it in the moment today because I love playing these PGA Tour courses and just kind of recreating, feeling that I'm here in a PGA Tour event. You know, obviously I don't, we don't have people watching, the greens probably aren't as fast, different conditions we're not, you know, covering, but for the most part, playing the same tees, same yardage, it just feels, it feels cool to take it in. Two hours later, five hours later. Coming down a little bit, we have 188 yards to the pin. I got a five iron, going right for it. It's gonna work. Get up there. Straight forward up and down here. Gotta fight through the conditions. I think we got that one. Go, oh, it's a good par. I'll take that in the rain. We're still two over par. We've made it through some tough holes. I know 13 is a really challenging one. It might be the hardest par three on the PGA Tour is what the starter said. So we got, we got that coming up, but we're two over par, even par on the day, two over as my score for the cut series. Just need one more shot. Just need to get one under and we can, we don't wanna, I mean, that, that's actually not a good mindset. You don't wanna get one under inside the cut and then cruise. So PGA Tour players, when they're in the event, it's probably easy if you get inside the cut line to just let off the gas instead of keeping on pushing. So I gotta, I just gotta keep pushing. Par four here, 
straight away. Go slightly to the left once you go out. Fairways have been a problem so far. Okay, you just need a gap. I, think I, I don't think I've hit a fairway yet. And that's usually the one part of my game I can rely on. It's gone today, so we're gonna test the other parts of my game. I mean, now it's like I hit that tee shot down the left side. It wasn't a bad swing, but it was left. And all I can do is sit here and hope I have a swing and a shot to the green. I mean, now it's like, it's not in my hands anymore. It's in God's hands. This is the shot. We got a shot. We've been really lucky with the breaks we've taken today, especially on hole number two, if you remember that. We got a lot of good breaks and we have another good one. I just gotta keep it low. I gotta basically go under this tree here the entire time. I might need to hit like a five iron. I feel like this six might get up too high. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Okay. I hit it right into that fringe, way too hard, but we got a 40 foot putt on the green. I cannot be mad. I did not want to carry it that far at all. You gotta take the lucky breaks like that. And that was lightning. It was right over our head. I also, I just want to give a huge shout out to uh, Ennisbrook for having us out and letting us film this today. I know they have two courses out here. They also have the island course, they have 36 holes. So it's a resort. If you guys are ever in the Tampa Bay area, check it out. Get the same experience I'm having. Just coming out here and playing a beautiful golf course. The fact that this ball is on the green right now, after looking at that second shot, I'm super happy. Wow. Wow, wow, that was a good putt there too. Okay, unfortunate three putt. It's part of it, just hit a really aggressive first putt there. It's all good, I mean, we're only one over on the day. We're still in the thick of this. Par three coming up, 200 yard par three. Let's keep our head down, we're gonna make some bogeys. I was mentally prepared to make some mistakes, so it's all about now how we bounce back, stay in it. Hole eight here, through seven holes. We are now one over par, three over total, two off of the cut line. This one is a beast. I think this is like a 200, 232 yard par three. I don't know if it's, I think I'm gonna have to hit a hybrid. Gotta take the ego out of play, put the iron away, take out the hybrid. On to a beast, 245 yards to the pin on the eighth hole. This is the one where it's hard to play offense when it's this long, so. It's hard to play offense when you have 245 yards to the pin, so I wanna hit this hybrid and I'm trying to hit it to the center of the green, get out of here with par. Oh, it's carried. It's gonna be just fine. Carry that bunker on the right. Long chip now. Gotta fight to the end. Gotta fight to the end. This is the point. We're almost halfway through this round, where it's easy to start to get lazy, not focus on each shot. You gotta take one shot at a time, keep the head in it. We got a decent lie here, got a 56 degree, gonna try and carry it almost halfway there and spin it. Might have needed that 52 degree. Right to left, up the hill, you gotta stay aggressive. right that is a beast that is a beast of a hole but that's another bogey back-to-back -back bogeys takes me to four over you're now three shots outside of the cut line still very doable it's a lot of great holes coming up we're coming up on the final hole of this front nine par four the back nine is where the famous holes come in called the snake pit if you guys know on the PJ Tour, holes 16, 17, and 18 are part of the snake pit. It's where it gets really challenging. 16 is one of the toughest holes I've ever played, so I need to get it together right now. Hole nine here is a beautiful hole. Straight away, par four, back into the storm. You're gonna be able to see this ball flight pretty good. It's kind of a crazy feeling if I was in a PJ Tour event right now, just like being three shots back from the cut and just trying to mentally stay in it and know that that's my paycheck if I make the cut. So it's gotta be pretty stressful for the guys. Well, I 
I got in the tank. That was the best tee shot of the day, right there. Not even close or comparable. Felt really good, committed golf swing. What a beast of a hole, how far is this? Only 420, but it's uphill and it's into the wind and I'm not getting any roll out, so it's all carry distance out here. Second shot here, 167 yards up the hill. A little breeze into our face. Solid shot, gonna have a look. Right to left here, we need this one. Let's end this nine with a bang. Oh. A lot of gettable holes on this back nine, but there's gonna be a lot of tough holes, so I wanna see what I can even shoot out here. Two over after nine, not horrible, not great. This is gonna be super cool here to start this back nine because these are the iconic holes. These are the ones that you watch on TV that we're gonna be able to play. It's where it's really gonna start to tie. I don't know, it's just gonna, everything's gonna start to click. I can see it because front nine, I remember a couple holes, but there's not, you know, any really iconic ones like 16 and 17, the long par three. There's just some real good ones. So this is gonna be crazy. Tenth hole here, I'm changing balls to a TP5X, so just so you guys know, I wanna make sure everyone's okay. Oh. Really does give you perspective on how long the courses are that these guys play, because from the tips, this is a 440 yard par four. I cannot believe though, coming up, we're gonna have Beth Page Black. That's gonna be a lot harder than this course even, so. And this is one of the tougher courses on the PGA Tour. Here in the right rough, 172 to the flag. Eight iron, full one here. It's a full one. You gotta get after this. Hopefully it jumps a little bit out of this rough to get it all the way back. Oh, be good. Down. That jumped all right. That thing flew. I think I got a little bit of water in between the face and the ball and it jumped, but we have a good look at birdie. Another thing that just amazes me with golf is all the factors you need to take into to account, especially when you're playing at a high level. Like that water got in between the face there and that could have added a good five to 10 yards just because it reduced the spin, didn't carry as, or it did carry further. So it's just, it's crazy. If you listen to some of the guys talk about how intricate they get with wind and water and every condition, next level stuff. Golf's a beautiful game. A little long here, just what I expected, but from 172 yards, cannot be mad to have a 20 footer for birdie. It's like we're down the hill here. Little right to left, pretty straight. Okay. On a very, very tough par four, almost a 450 yard par four, so I'll take that all day. Par five here, 11 is gettable. This is where we need to get one back. Par five, 11th hole. We need to get our spark right here. See if we can get after this thing in two shots. Hopefully y'all are enjoying this. I'm having a good time out here trying to grind. I feel like I'm almost in a more serious setting. Took it down the left side there. Not much to this hole. If I remember it pretty, if I remember it correctly, there's not much going on. It's a pretty straightforward golf hole. When I played this hole in college, it was very gettable. We played a tee, like two tees up from where I just played. And when you play it from back there, it's 567. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to get there in two shots, fortunately. It's just crazy. We are in the bunker here. We have like 300 of the pin anyway. We're gonna lay it up, give ourselves a good wedge. Wow, I hugged that tree pretty tight. We have 100 yards after the layup out of the bunker. 56 degree, green light special. We need it.
Good. Yeah. He's got a gallery. I know. Not bad there. A little short, but at least that guy liked it, so it's a win. It really is. Let's put that cut up on the screen here. We are still four over par total, plus one makes the cut. So three shots back. Big time, big time, big time. Gotta stay aggressive, get it past the hole here. If you look over there, you can see it. It says Copperhead, where the little snake pit is, so. Going right. You see that? That's a par, all good. We have a par four coming up over the water. It's kind of like a little layup one. And it's gonna start to get fun. This, uh, this is now everything's starting to come back of this PGA Tour event. All right, you're good, Sky. Oh, we're back here, huh? These tees will they'll take your breath away, I'll tell you that. That right there was a 567 yard par five. We are onto a par four. 373 or even par on the back nine. Little layup shot off the tee. It's 230 to the water on the right. If you go a little left, it goes out to about 250. I'm gonna hit an easy three wood. We are dry and that's all that matters. We're gonna have, you know, 150 yards into this par four. I also, I always wanna hear from you guys when we're starting these new concepts is, you know, what could we improve on? Because there may be some times where I actually play 36 holes straight up and see if I can make the cut. But I also just like starting sometimes on the cut line like this and playing just 18 holes. So it's not the same course twice, but you let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions, any ideas on how we could even make this better. Thought a lot about it, so, so excited to bring this to you. And oh my gosh, there's the iconic par three. I remember watching so many pros hit it here. Over in the rough, we have 160 yards. We're gonna go full nine iron, go right at it. Oh, oh it's gonna work. Oh my gosh, it's gonna work. Oh, it's just short. Sit there. Caught it weird in that rough, but I thought we got away with it. Easy up and down. It's an absolute battle out here when you're playing these courses from where the guys, the big boys play them. It's like, it really does beat you up. Even if you're swinging good, it'll usually get you pretty good. So I'm getting, to, I'm getting pretty beat up right now. I'm only two over on the entire day though. I gotta take some positives leading up to this moment mentally how long these holes are and not having many really good birdie looks, it's, it's tough. You just gotta stay in it and stay patient. Very makeable chip. See what we can do. Oh. Tap it in. Come on. We're staying in it, guys. I mean, I know one thing. In this series, I'm not gonna make the cut every time. It's more of the test, and we're gonna be tested more than we possibly could on these next four or five holes coming up. Four holes, it's gonna be crazy. Well guys, Steve, the starter, he said watch out for hole five and hole 13. We are indeed on hole 13 right now. It's a par three over the water, and we're looking at around like 200 yards to the pin. So need to hit a good shot, need it bad, need to just hang in there. We're only two over. 195 to the pin, five iron, take it on. Beautiful par three. Little water front, hit it good. Oh, that felt great too. Oh, that was one of the better swings today. I'm just happy it's in. We are dry on this par three and that is good because, I mean, if I miss hit that five iron just a little bit, it could come up short in that water. I know another thing, when the Valspar is around here and they're actually playing in tournament conditions, it's a lot firmer and probably a lot faster, but it's also a give and take. I feel like I would make more putts on faster greens, so you never know.
All right, we are here on hole 14. It's a par five and 15 is a par three and then the snake pit begins after that on hole 16. The closing three holes are where this course really bites you good. So par five, time to birdie, bounce back after that bogey. It's so wet out today here in Florida that I'm not getting any rollout. So this is most likely going to be another three shot hole on this par five. I'm going to lay up, try and wedge it in there close and, and get back to even par on this back nine. Lay up here. The, the green is actually over a little pond over to the right. So it's a lay up here with a four iron. That's all I needed. Let's play it smart, keep it in play. Hopefully y'all are enjoying this series. I absolutely am so stoked about it and I'm just excited to be out here playing golf after I just had the worst couple days of my life with food poisoning. So grateful to be out here, beautiful day. Shout out to Celsius for sponsoring this video as well, once again. Just gotta make four birdies in a row to make the cut. Can we do it? Stay tuned. Just a hair long. Felt like a great strike. Gotta make it. Backs against the wall. Ship it in. We've done it once today. We can do it again. Oh. Woo. Wow. <laughs> Snuck that one in. That one almost lipped out on me, but that is a par. Par five. Now we are on to a tricky, once again, par three that's gonna be over 200 yards. So every par three today, close to 200 yards long. We're heading to the 15th hole here. Shout out to everyone on the PGA Tour and I just respect you guys because this, this course is a beast. If I'm being honest, I'd be scared to play in this tour event. And I feel like I've played decent golf leading up to this point. I haven't done anything special, but I'm three over par. It's like struggling to shoot three over par right now. I still got a par in if I want to shoot that, but this is a hard golf course. Hole 15, par three, 200 yards. Once again, from these back tees, it's no joke. Got a five iron right at the pin. Crunch time. What? Another factor I got to take into play is right now it's super humid. Air is really heavy because that was a great strike. Felt like plenty of club. Look at this MG4 wedge. It's already getting that nice rust look with the raw finish. And I just took it out of the wrapper the other day. It's crazy. It's beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. Come on. Let's tap that in. That is perfect guys. That is a par on a very difficult par three. Easy up and down there. The beginning of the snake pit starts right now. Hopefully you guys have made it this far. It's been a grind to get here. We're three over par total for the day heading in to the snake pit. We go this is the beginning of the snake pit i remember this tee shot back in the college days it's a tight one I've seen this one on tour a lot too oh yeah Whoa. oh my gosh that was a great break for me because I just flew it into those trees. I didn't even think I could carry it that far. Hit off the tree, back into the fairway. Not the line. Um, I got very lucky that that tree spit my ball out, but I needed to go way right of where I just hit that golf shot. So we got lucky. We're back in play in the fairway to be exact. 
This is crazy. We got 225 to the pin. I actually need a hybrid here. Cannot get a four iron. So I'm gonna play a cut into this par four. What a beast. Oh my gosh, be good. Be good. Oh, that was the best shot of the day. All day today, that is the best shot. Come on. Wow, what a time, guys, to pull off a shot like that. I mean, it, oh, it's not that close. Well, we still got work, but that feels amazing to pull off that shot under the circumstance, just because it's the number one handicap on this course. I mean, it's so difficult, that hole. This would be so cool to say that I birdied the hardest hole in the snake pit. Let's get this one rolling on our line quick. Oh, I just missed it by a little bit. That's right. It's a great par. Cannot be mad at all. Now we're on to another par three that I think is 230. If, if I remember correctly, this is it's draining, but two more holes to go. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully y'all are enjoying this. I'm out here grinding. This might be, this is top, you know, four or five hardest courses on the channel. This is unbelievable. We have made it all the way back here on hole 17 to the tee box and we have 230 to the pin. I got my hybrid again. This is legit, this is no joke. I'm gonna go with kind of a lower one and try and get it back to that pin. Oh my gosh, be good, be good, be good, be good, be good, be good, be good. <laughs> That was one of the best shots all day. Again, back to back with this hybrid. I cannot get rid of this thing. This one, this is the club that I probably have the most confidence in. Holy crap, that was nuts. That was that knockdown swing again. Oh my gosh, back to back hybrids there. Cannot believe it. Those are those little punch swings. Hey, we've only had one birdie today and it came on the first hole. Let's see if we can make two. Talk about a good look here. We have six feet up the hill. Let's make this, please. I felt like I hit a great putt there. Mm, man, it makes me mad after the, those two golf shots right there to not convert, stings. Oh, that felt like such a good stroke. And it just went dead left on me. It's crazy. These greens, I'll tell you right now, just looking at them, they're, they're a little bit longer right now and they're grainy. And when you get grainy Florida greens, you better roll it pure or that thing goes offline. Bent greens, you can make putts all day, but Florida granny greens, you better be rolling it end over end on your line. Final hole here, 18. It's a beast. It's a long par four. Not too much to look at straight away up the hill. Plays pretty long. Cut just a little bit more. Sit there. Fairway. That is a fairway to end the day here. Let's go. Come on. Let's finish with a birdie. Shoot two over. That'd be a 73. After everything's said and done, that'd be insane. This is crazy. Coming up the 18th hole here. I'm not mad with how I've played, but I'm also disappointed that I've left just some putts out there. I feel like I've struck the ball well on this back i've only had one bogey in the rest pars which with this slope rating and the the hardness of this golf course i'm playing great i just need some putts to drop and if i can birdie this last hole here shoot two over on the day that'd be a 73 with a par 71. i would miss the cut by a lot especially starting the day at two over i've been fighting all day and to even come out here and shoot a, a two over can't be disappointed Final swing here. We're in the fairway, 143 yards to the pin, up the hill. I'm gonna go with a full nine iron, playing like 150 with slope. Go, 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 go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. Where's my towel? Where's my mm? Where's my mm? Imagine here, we birdie the first hole and we birdie the last hole. That'd be pretty cool. 
only two birdies. If I could tell you my confidence was a zero with the putter, I would, I'd probably say that right now. Uh, I actually can tell you, it's zero. My confidence here is about as low as it could be, but we got something to build off. It looks about dead straight to me. That wraps it up for the first video here of the cut. I missed the cut, unfortunately. I shot a three over today, which is a 74 here, and one of the toughest courses on the PGA Tour. I'm definitely not mad at all with that finish. Um, it would have been nice to shoot one under and make the cut, but I'm not always gonna, that's not always gonna happen in this series, guys. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that. I missed it, but next one coming up is gonna be at Beth Page Black. That's way tougher than this, so I gotta get ready. I gotta work on my putting. Felt like I hit good putts, they just weren't dropping. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the videos. This was a treat. Shout out to Innisbrook for having us out. Let's see how many likes we can get for the first video of the cut series.